is uh, Alan Babbage making his way to the ring. Doesn't take a lot to, to rile him up, does it, Darren? But he is <laughs> fired up after what happened at the uh, at the weigh-in. There is your tail of the tape, and the big tail of this fight is, of course, that 62-pound weight discrepancy. You know, we don't want to bang on about Alan Babbage's size. It annoys him, for one thing. But I guess if you're Mark Bennett, you know you're going to have to weather an early storm. How do you go about doing that for those first three or four well, rounds? You, you try and get that size into play, and you do that by grabbing hold of Babbage, trying to throw him around a little bit. We know how ferocious Babbage is, so he'll be trying to push uh, Bennett off, uh, and he'll be burning energy. The, the question mark is, is, how will he fare when he goes past three rounds? Uh, the, for, for, for Bennett is trying to just try and tire him out, get, trying to sap that energy. That will be the plan. Well, eight rounds of heavyweight. I don't need to tell you the likelihood of us needing all of them tonight. But there is something in Mark Bennett that strongly suggests he could be the first man to drag Babbage into those later rounds and into deeper waters than anyone thus far has managed to. And in those waters, may we find something out about Alan Babbage. But he comes out swinging. Don't blink. And as you said, Darren, use that weight advantage, push him back, try and hold and spoil it. Oh, he catches Babbage with a right hand over the top, chops one down, and he must have felt that. Two big rights there, Chris. Babbage fires back with his own right hand. Aggressive start by Bennett. He said he needs to get his size into play early on. He's trying to do so. Babic high up on his toes, trying to bounce in and out of range. Stiff jab. Bennett brings him out. Big smile and just gets caught with a short left hook. Oh, the big right hand comes through the middle and the legs of Bennett just stiffen momentarily. And now Babic, sensing the moment, steps on him. Bennett is hanging on, pushing him back, using that weight advantage. But he was hurt there. He is. Smiling Babbage, he loves this, he's sticking his tongue out. Bennett opts into mix fire with fire, big overhand right again from Babic. The legs of Bennett are betraying him here, they're not stiff underneath him, and Babbage has got free reign, trying to set that big right hand up. Smothered his work that time, just giving Bennett a breather. Bennett now back on the jab. <laughs> Well, if you just joined us, you'd think we were deep into the ninth or the tenth round here. But this is a minute or so into the first, and they're both training there. Babbage, Rick and Hooks out the middle. Uppercut through the centre, and Bennett is hanging on with a minute to go in the opening round. What a start, as we knew it would be. Bennett convinced that he could weather the storm, but he's in deep waters here. Babbage is measuring him, thumps the right hand down the centre, that's hurt. Mark Bennett, oh, shields out, Chris. Lee Every just bringing that over to the Bennett corner. Well, we've been hit by heavy rain, he's been hit by thunder and lightning. He <laughs> really has, Chris. And they've, well, Babbage has just held his hands aloft for a moment there. I thought they were going to wave it off, but they're back to it. 43 seconds for Babbage to get the job done. Mark Bennett is digging in here, but he's going to be vulnerable, letting his hands go. He's in big trouble. Babbage thumping away. Lee Everett has a look at him. He's caught him out again because of the mouthpiece. That may just be giving Bennett some valuable recovery time here, but he is in big, big trouble. Swap it afterwards. Get back in. And they're really taking their time cleaning that mouthpiece, and I think they're absolutely right to do so. And Babbage is baying to the crowd here. I don't think Mark Bennett can believe what's hit him. Good solid one two again from Babbage. And Babbage oh, hook. puts the hands together again, doubles the left hook. Bennett's oh. trying to keep the hands tight, and he's trying to fly back when he can. Oh, his own left hook. That's Bennett landed something there, Babbage. Still digging in, 18 seconds. This first round has gone on for about three or four rounds, and it will feel like much longer for the big man, Mark Bennett, who's in the corner. How on earth has he seen this out? As Babbage again thumps the right hand home, wings one over the top. Well, enough for a, wow. a three-minute highlight reel there. 
it was crude, there was nothing technical about it. But Alan Babic has bludgeoned Mark Bennett into near submission. Maybe it is going to take a different level of opponent to to the dent in him and to slow him down because so far Mark Bennett just hasn't got the firepower to keep him off and the weight has been insignificant so far. Nice little bounce, bit of rhythm going, Babbage. Started this round behind the jab. People forget he does have a decent amateur pedigree representing Croatia in the amateurs can box, but hasn't needed to so far. And even when the hands are up of Bennett, the guard is being broken down, pulled aside and pushed apart. He's trying to walk him down, he's trying to will himself forward. This is a good spell from Bennett. But is the will enough to match the ferocity of Babic? He just walks forward nonchalantly into range with his hands down, eats a jab. Good jab by Bennett. He looks spent though, Bennett. Babic just bouncing around to his left, trying to open up. The power for the right hand. Good right hand though from Mark Bennett. Yeah. Felt that, Babic, no doubt. He's punching with Babic now. It's the tie just turning for Mark Bennett. Babic swings with him. Big left hook. Oh, I thought Bennett was going to just roll over there, but he stayed on his feet. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> If you're watching this home, do not take your eyes off the TV. It could end at any moment. Oh, a big right hand from Bennett there. Shaking the head back and forth. Old school violence, this. Heads come together. Babbage rips a left hook into the body. What a way to <laughs> warm the crowd up on a very oh, cold rainy oh, night. And Babbage again thumps the right hand in. Bennett kept the hands tight, and somehow he sees out another round. An unbelievable six minutes of action. My goodness, what a position Mark Bennett is in right now. I and mean, he's got three or four hundred watching him, and he's in deep, deep waters. But he's still in this fight, and there aren't signs that he's had. Glimmers of success. Can he turn them into something more as Babbage starts fast again? Bennett chops the right hand over, catches Babbage again. And now the Savage rolls backwards. No, I'm sorry, everybody else, but you're going to have to go some to win fight of the night after this. Boxing has gone out the window. This is a fight. And a minute 20 to go in the third. <laughs> Who'd have thought we'd been there? About a minute and a half into the first, but Bennett's still there. Both really feeling the pace now, but for me, Bennett is spent. He's tried to push Babbage back and landed a couple of short ones on the inside, but these are uh, a few and far between as Babbage crosses a right hand over the top, rips to the body, changing the levels up. Bennett in big trouble here. The corner are looking at him, the referee's looking at him too. He ties Babbage up at the death. 50 seconds to go though. Head on head, nobody's holding. And it somehow just wills the energy to push the Savage back, but he comes back with a four-punch combination, finishing on that left hook that he's become so well known for here. Rolls under the right hand of Benin. Oh, he should start looking for the right the left uppercut, try and bring the head up with Benin, finish with the left hook. There you go. Oh, left hook. He took it well, Bennett. He's hanging on, Bennett, and he's got only a few seconds to survive in this round. He's going to need to spoil and see it out. Well, take a breath, everybody. Oh, left hook lands, and just for a moment, looked like the legs of Bennett would betray him. He's rocking and rolling already. Lunges in wildly and lazily with the right hand. The fatigue is just etched all over his face and his physique and his shape now, but he's still punching back. He's still willing himself forwards. Come on, 
Lee Everett just warning Adam Babbage who shoots to the shoulder there. Pumps that one to in again. Bennett keeps the hands high and tight, chops the right hand through. Yeah, so laboured though now. Landed a couple of good right hands in there, Bennett. Oh, good rapper cut, that's the shot I've been calling for. And he's really feeling it now, Mark Bennett, as Babbage starts to put the hands together again. But every time you think he's got him going, somehow yeah. he just finds this. Where is this coming from? He's hurt him there. And again, then it just looks like he's going to go. He tucks up. He's as tight as you, mate. I've never seen somebody look so on the cusp of going on so many occasions in the first four rounds and, and find a way to stay on their feet and fire back. He's obviously trained. He sucks off for this one, Chris. Strong legs and a strong heart, too, from Big Mark Bennett, who is absolutely spent here. And there is a laboured pace to this. Babich is trying to put those go. hands together. Bennett takes a couple of left hooks down the middle. Babich is right in front of him. And he hasn't got the legs to move. It's a big right hand. And again. Shots another one through. But again, Bennett is holding the shots. Well, you know that he's used to the power by now. That's one thing we do know. The uppercut's going to do damage here, Chris. He's really feeling it, though, Bennett. Come back again. Good one, too. Whether his corner, Mark Bennett, will, will have to take matters into their own hands. I know we've only got three rounds to go, but this is surely too Good much stuff. for their man to take it. But he keeps punching back. There's been several times when I fought the corner where I stepped in. Or ends of round where they fought, that's enough. Have you ever seen that episode of The Simpsons where Homer becomes a boxer? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm reminded of here, watching Bennett. And he's up against Trevor oh, Tatum here, and Alan Babbage thumps in that right hand, then the uppercut through the middle. He's banking on Tyron Babbage out and getting lucky in the later rounds. Well, he's going to have to be very lucky because he's going to have to somehow dredge up the performance of a lifetime in these last three rounds because he's well behind on the cards and he's absorbed yeah. the corners. Corners had enough. I think that's probably the sensible thing to do here. They've got to save their man because he is too brave for words, incredibly brave, and that was something to watch. And no one will ever question the durability, the toughness of, of Mark Bennett, but he was just thoroughly, thoroughly outgunned. 438 total punches through five rounds there by the savage Alan Babich. And listen, you know Alan, there was a bit of needle, but he will have so much respect for, for Bennett. After absolutely, that. rightly so. He took absolutely everything, kept firing back you, you thought he was finished and, and back he came and you know look he hurt Babbage a couple of times there the smaller man but yeah he can be extremely proud of himself but the savage party continues ladies and gentlemen referee Lee Every calls a halt to this contest at the end of round number five your winner by retirement he's still undefeated Allen the seven Bad